Hey my fantasy friends, welcome to an awesome edition of Starting Lineup. Why is it so awesome you might ask? Well, for starters, it's fantasy advice brought to you by the greatest fantasy player of all time for round 31. But look, the two best things about me scoring more points than anyone last round were one, I sent Ben Jada home from the fantasy playoffs, and two, I scared Weeby away from starting lineup. Nothing to muck up the system here. So let's get to five tips to help those who are still alive navigate their fantasy matchups this week and set themselves up for the final next week. Number one, a lot of guys are suspended here, including Nick Hagland, who's on a lot of people's team, Michael Bradley, Kendall Waston, and Waylon Francis. But more notable are the guys on warning, meaning they get one yellow card, and then you're gonna have to scramble to replace them oh, no. for the finals. You don't wanna be taking those negative four penalties on the final. Here is a list of key guys to note. Kubo Torres, he has a double game week in the final round of the season, but he could miss one of those games. Lee Wynn, Brad Evans, Igor Juliao, Sam Cronin, Jordan Harvey, the list goes on. You should check out the disciplinary report under the news tab for more info and the full list. Number two, the LA Seattle series is going to decide a lot. It could help you decide what happens in fantasy. Two teams duking it out for the Supporters Shield in a home and home series the last two weeks of the season. Last time they met in LA, the Galaxy won 3-0, but Robbie Keane only put up three points. LD stole the show with 15 points. I expect both teams here to be going after the wins, to be playing their stars and scoring some goals, so I'd rather load up here on Robbie Keane, Landon Donovan, Zardes, Obafemi Martins, Marco Papa, and Clint Dempsey than defenders or goalkeepers on either side. Speaking of playing time, number three, for the teams that are out of the playoffs, you might have to be careful now about who will be in the starting lineup. Coaches are gonna to try to give some time to guys further down the bench to give them a look ahead of next season. Examples might be Philly resting Connor Casey to get a better look at Andrew Ribeiro, or a number of teams trying to get their second string goalkeeper a look. Speaking of goalkeepers though, a lot of people have Tyler Derrick on their team, a lot of people have Bobby Shuttleworth. Those two go head-to-head -head on Thursday night. If you're picking from one of those two, I'm going with Shuttleworth, despite the game being on the road. All right, number four. History says goals will likely be scored in Portland RSL. And look, even if that's just hyperbole, also note that the greatest fantasy player of all time is saying that. I feel good about captaining Valeri or Javi Mo for this match. If you have either or both of them, picking between the two, I'd go Valeri. And at number five, speaking of captains, of course, I have to mention BWP. He scored against Columbus both times they played this season, and New York is going to be doing everything to get him the record at home. I said it a few weeks ago. I stand by it. I'd expect at least a goal from him, if not two plus. That's also a very good captain's pick for you. Okay, folks, since I'm limited on time here to lay down all the advice I can, I'll be perusing the comments section, taking part in the discussions, and answering any fantasy questions that I can help you out with. So hit me up down there or on Twitter, at Jason Seguini. Good luck this week, and I'll see you on starting lineup for the final round next week.